Hi guys, happy story time Sunday. Hope you're all having a fantastic weekend. Unfortunately, it's about to come to a close. And I don't know about you, but this coming week, woo, busy week in Becky Town. Busy week in Becky Town. So we'll give it just our regular few more moments to let people come and join. Hey Tim. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're just gonna give it a few minutes before we begin. It's extra cold down here today. <laughs> extra cold in the studio today. It's beginning to get to that time of year where it's a little bit chilly. I think extra layers may be required. I'm already in my sweater. It's sweater weather. Sweater weather. Hey, Gibran. We'll get just a couple more minutes here. Hello, Serena. Serena, I'm happy to have you. Happy you are here. Do you ever have one of those days where you have a song stuck in your head and you cannot get it out? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> stuck, stuck in my head and it will not come out. And in my house, we always called that an earworm. And typically I would just listen to the song a couple times and that would kind of fix it, but nothing is doing anything for this song today. And it's just playing around and around and around in my brain. Have you ever had an earworm? This particular song is from an, a new musical called Six and it's about Henry VIII's six wives. And it's sort of like a British pop musical, sort of like if the Spice Girls um, made a musical. <gasps> Serena, it is officially holiday season, so it's completely okay that you're singing Jingle Bells. Completely okay. We put up our Christmas tree yesterday. Yep. It is officially holiday season. <laughs> And speaking of official, I think it's officially time to start Storytime Sunday. So welcome all. Ooh, you got a little flash of the book there. So tonight's book is How to Be a Lion by Ed Veer. How to Be a Lion. The world is full of ideas. Big ones, small ones, good ones, bad ones. Some think this, others think that. Some say there's only one way to be a lion. They say Lions are fierce. If they catch you, they will chomp you. Crunch, crunch, chomp. <sighs> they say a lion can't be gentle. Well, they haven't met Leonard. Leonard loves to walk by himself, feeling the sun warm on his back and the green grass under his paws. Some days, Leonard walks to his thinking hill. Sometimes he thinks important thoughts. Sometimes he daydreams. Somewhere in between, he hums quietly and plays with words, 
putting them together this way, then that way, making them into poems. There he is on his thinking hill. Some say, wait, lions are not gentle. Lions do not write poems. And if a lion met a duck, bad luck for that duck. Crunch, crunch, chomp. But if Leonard met a duck, what do you think would happen? What do you think would happen if Leonard met a duck? It looks like it's gonna happen. Hello, said Leonard. I'm Leonard. Hello, said the duck. I'm Mary Ann. I'm writing a poem, said Leonard, but I'm stuck. Will you help me? You're in luck, said Mary Ann. I'm a poetic duck. Together, they played with Leonard's poem until the words came unstuck. Leonard and Marianne found they liked each other. Under the sun in the long grass they lay together. They played, they went for walks and had long meandering conversations, a mixture of quacks and quiet roars. At night, they watched for shooting stars and made wishes if they saw them. Do you think the universe has edges? Quacked Marianne. If it doesn't, said Leonard, will we fall out? Together, they are happy. They wish for nothing more than this. Some say that a lion should have chomped a duck by now. One day, a pack of fierce lions came prowling around. What's going on here? They growled. Why hasn't this duck been chomped? This duck is Mary Ann, said Leonard. She's my friend and nobody will chomp her. The fierce lions came closer. We heard you're gentle. We heard you make up poems, but not chomping a duck? You've gone too far. The fierce lions growled and roared. There's only one way to be a lion. Leonard, you must be fierce. Must I be fierce, said Leonard? Must I change? They're wrong, quacked Marianne, and we will show them why. Poor Leonard, look at poor Leonard. He's a sad little lion. Leonard and Marianne went to their thinking hill. They thought hard. After a while, Leonard hummed a serious hum, and an idea started to form. Mary Ann quacked a serious quack. The idea grew. They put their words together, like this, like that, building them into a poem that made sense of what they thought. Finally, they were ready. Leonard took a deep breath. <clears throat> I'll say this quietly. 
I needn't roar to be heard. I can be a friend to a bee or a bird. You said I must change. I must chomp Mary Ann. But chomping your friends is a terrible plan. Let nobody say just one way is true. There are many ways that you can be, that you can be you. If there must be a must, then this we must trust. If there must be a must, then this we must try. Why don't you be you and I will be I? Some say words can't change the world. Leonard says, if they make you think, then maybe they can. Is there just one way to be a lion? I don't think so. Do you? I'm sorry, I had to. It's just too perfect. How to Be a Lion by Ed Ver or Vere. 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 It's a very good book. Very, very good book. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me for Storytime Sunday. It's 8.15 and I haven't eaten dinner tonight. So I'm going to sign off and say thank you, thank you. And I know that um, I had a contest going. I'm gonna give it one more week and put a little bit more push on it. Um, it's been a busy week. It's gonna be a busy week next week, but we did only have a couple of shares. So I want to put it out there that um, last week, Storytime Sunday, if you find that over on uh, Our River Road on Facebook, please, please, please share it around. Every share and comment that you guys um, put out there enters you into a contest to win a sticker and also to win a special mystery book prize from me. So it's fun and I would really love for you guys to participate. So please find um, last week's Storytime Sunday, which was the book that has no story. If you don't want a story, read this book. Um, yeah, find that one share that one, comment on that one, share it around, let other people know about the contest. Um, I'm gonna give it one more week until we draw. I'm gonna draw regardless, so, uh, but I would, I would like to have uh, more people have the opportunity to play, so yay. Thank you guys, uh, have a wonderful week. Please, 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 please visit your local independent bookseller um, our bookseller here is the Briar Patch, and they are wonderful, and they are so welcoming when we come in. If there's something that I can't find, or if there's an idea that I need for a book, I always know I can go to the Briar Patch, and um, they'll have some amazing suggestions. They also put up new books and new suggestions on their Facebook page, so feel free to follow them there. Even if you're not local, you might be able to learn a little bit more about books that are coming out there literally have their finger on the pulse of books that are currently out there. So, um, yeah, make sure to go to your local bookseller, be creative as always, and have a fantastic week. And I will see you guys for Storytime Sunday next Sunday. All right. Okay. Thank you. Love you.